done with a game, you don't get back here till well after midnight or whatever. By the time you're falling asleep, when do you even try to get up, get rolling, get the day started? It takes a while to wind down, especially last yeah. night. I went in the game late last night, and then the walk off, you know, you're kind of upset, and <laughs> you know when you lose like that late. So it's just one of those things you need to decompress. I, we came back here. Um, I went over to Lester's room. We played a little guitar just to wind down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we had a little, little just me and him trying to learn some songs together. So we did that. I did that till about one, so about an hour, and then. Uh, Go back to the room, wind down, watch the TV. I'd probably be about 1.30. And so I'll sleep in, uh, just depending on uh, whether I'm going to FaceTime the kids in the morning with the school. But it's their last week of school, so they got a ton going on. So, And my wife knew I was playing today, so she let me sleep in. I'm really, really fortunate to be ending my career in a place like this with these type of dudes and um, that they care so much about you know, the game and they're good people and they care about one another. It's just it's really, I don't take that for granted for one minute. Um, for you on a day to day, like you are starting, by the way, he's doing this on a day he is starting. This is not the <laughs> is not original a plan. I'm it was a grumpy, angry old man right now. Trust me, people. So, <laughs> but yeah. when does your mind kind of make that switch to, okay, like, do you wake, out a wake up right away thinking about some of these things, or do you let yourself ease into a day and then at some point, okay, now start thinking this game definitely time. A progression for me um, as far as the, the mindset wise I mean I wake up and we talk about I was talking to my, my, my wife on the phone this morning and talking about uh, you know just she was like you playing and I was like yeah and so as you start I feel those butterflies you know it's like you get nervous and especially uh, we hadn't had a great road trip and, and, and we're playing our rivals in St. Louis and you know it's like a, it's a, it's a in my opinion a must win for me you know I, I take the day like that so um, I get there a little earlier uh, on days I'm playing and start to get a little more focused and I'm not really as, as happy-go-lucky <laughs> as you probably see more than the fancy on days that I play. <laughs> no, so, that's uh, not true. Yeah. He's always happy-go-lucky. Everybody knows I'm, I'm kind of into it. Um, it. If I'm not talking much, they're like, oh, you must be playing today. So, um, yeah, I'm not really the, the energetic guy on that day because I'm saving my energy for the game and uh, try to... You know, it's oh, when you're 39, you got to get a little more angry, and, and your mindset has to be a little more um, pissed off at the world to, to get where you need to be. Okay, today you're going to be going with Hamill. At uh, what point do you guys connect, if at all? Or yeah. how to, I mean, I'm sure every pitcher likes to work a little different with when they um, coordinate game plan wise with you, but what's Jason's like? It's usually like I'll get in and do my scouting report, go over everything I want to do, watch some video. Is that with Borzello? Yeah, I just kind of do it on my own. Okay. Borzello, we have our meeting uh, at, uh, every series to start a series. Um, the first day in, you have a pitchers and catchers meeting where we go over the lineup. And then, but I, we, every, Every uh, catcher does their kind of, me and Miggy, we'll do our own thing the day we pitch, go re-go over. I like to, to just refresh myself. And then um, right about an hour before the game, I start to get ready, and the pitcher's already been getting ready. So about 10, 15 minutes before that, I'll go and meet with, with Ham or whoever the starting pitcher is, and we'll go, this is how I want to attack the lineup. Heidi, what do you see? What video did you see? What history do you have with these guys? Those kind of things. Venti Skinny Ice, Caramel Macchiato. Venti Skinny Ice. Ice. For any of you listening that want to get David Ross's coffee one day, Venti Skinny, skinny Ice. Iced. Caramel Macchiato. That's what they really want to bring here is that winning, and I feel like they brought here is that, that winning process, attitude, uh, expectation, yeah. you know, which is great, along with what Theo and Jed have built with this group. I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty, pretty special what's going on here. I think everybody sees that. There's a there's a great group of guys that really know how to play baseball and a, and a manager who knows how to, to, do, to treat people the right way and uh, talks about winning and talks about expecting to win, right? All that stuff I think is important. So uh, it's a good time to be a Chicago Cub. It's fun. Thank you. Oh, so was, thank you. That was great. That was quick. Tremendous young. Well, look, all that, look at all that caramel eighth inning. there. Yeah. Eighth inning. This is yeah, why David Ross is going to have the uh, right. energy, I guess. That's when that guy tries to steal today, why well, I'm going to be able to throw him out. It just makes my arm feel better. <laughs> You hear these things talking about playing down to your opponent. Yeah, there's what. a lot being made about that yeah, right now. Yeah, I don't know what if do you... that's the case. The energy that we feel at home and that we get to play in front of, that just brings the best out of you when your fans come and expect you to win or expecting a great show. And then you go to a place that maybe there's not so many fans. The energy level is hard to to. You, bring, you got to gotta bring it. it yourself. You have to bring yourself. And you really and, do. And that's part of my job. I take a lot of pride in that. That's why I'm always yelling at everybody, right? Okay, so everybody wants to call me the, the bad guy that's yelling at everybody to bring it, but 
you know, that's part of my job is to make sure we don't have a letdown. And um, sometimes that's hard to fake. You know, it's hard. It's 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 a it's a thing you feel, and and fans help out with that. When I'm catching, I'm constantly trying to manage the game against what's the worst case scenario, right? So. Worst case scenario here, man on second, we're up two. This guy, I may stay down away so this guy can't, can't hit a homer and tie it up. I want him to maybe, at worst case scenario, get a base hit or hit a double, and then my, maybe I got a better matchup on deck. Or okay. I'm trying to stay ahead of the game, uh, who's hitting, who, who's not. Or, how are you? I'm fine. Can I get my picture? Yes, I've been, I've been yeah. promising her a picture. Here, let me hold it. I've been Your promising coffee? her a picture for okay. two weeks well, now. Well, actually, maybe okay. I'll take the picture. Okay. Let me put this down. David, I'm putting this down right here. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, thank you. Here you, you go. It. Of course. I'm doing all right. Are okay. you taking it or you oh, want me to? You, yeah, yeah you sure. You have to push the little thing to change You it. got it. All right. On three. One, two. Boom. That's okay, a winner. Let's see if it's taken. Let's see yeah, if that's a keeper. Yeah, I think you did it. I think you did it. Okay, thank it's you, time real quick. Can I bother you one more time? Yep, sure, sure, sure. I greatly appreciate it. No problem. You guys are here early. I'll see you in there. You got it, ma'am. We're getting to see the behind the scenes. Yeah, this uh, is the secret. The see, nobody goes this way. It's like <laughs> this is the old veteran move where nobody, nobody knows the secret hallways. Everybody has to go down to the other place and enter. I like to walk. That's what I like about you know Colorado. I'll walk, and um, when I was with the Red Sox, I stayed close to the field. You walk. You just get to hear the fans talk about the game and how excited they are, and you hear them talk about Jake Arrieta and John Lester. It's funny to me because they're, you know, I, I know how normal human beings they are, and uh, and these, you know, you, 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 when you just see people on TV, they're they they seem bigger than you know, larger than life, I guess. So it's um it's fun to walk about the stadium, and I don't know, I try to take in more of that experiences this year than, than ever before. Okay, so we're getting to the park on any typical day, you're walking in and, and what's the next thing you're looking to do? You uh, got your coffee in I hand. got my coffee, I'll, I'll get undressed, get in my, my mode, and um, usually I'll eat, get a bite to eat here soon. Okay. You know, get all my... And do you have chefs here that kinda... Yeah, they, they, have a, they have a cook here. They'll have like a spread out um, with like whatever the meal of the day is, you know, and. Um, snack, there's always snacks and stuff around, and then if you want something special, you can get like a chicken sandwich or a burger or uh, whatever it is they have on the little. little What's short your menu. game day meal? You can't overeat on game day, right? Yeah, you got to you got to move around yeah, so much. Yeah, I'm not a big eater on game day, so I got a good breakfast. This is my lunch, and I'll have a snack. Okay. With uh, I have a snack with, um, you know, right before probably two hours before the game, whatever's out there I'll pick at it uh, if not I'll just grab a yogurt or something and then you don't ask Jake for yeah, an RX after. bar or anything like that. <laughs> no <laughs> the bars and all that stuff. Oh, I, I get the healthy I like how healthy we got some some healthy food in now with Jake kind of has helped uh, spur that and they bring in juices and stuff like that so it's nice when you get the option right. just to be a little bit healthier his kale juice his kale juice right that. right Came and it keeps the love the handles down it keeps the love handles so it's coming it all, it's comes, always, back it all comes back to the love Listen, at some point i'm gonna have to get in a bathing suit you know with my kids on the beach and i can't have you know you know i can't have the, the muffin top thing going <laughs> I have yeah, a feeling it's going to be okay, David. Mm. I think it's going to be okay. I hope so. And this I'll hide is, behind glasses and a hat or something. <laughs> this is your stop. This is it. This is it. Thank you for Cheers hanging with me. Cheers for Starbucks yes. and showing us a little day in the life uh, on the road. I, I hope I entertained enough and let Always gave some good info to the fans, right? Always entertaining. Okay, Thank go get them a win tonight. Yeah. Thank, yes, you. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>